We hit a thousand subscribers and upgraded to a Mac Studio with an M1 Max chip. We needed more ports for more monitors and more processing power because our old laptop choked with every edit. So when this Mac Studio was 500 off, we grabbed it. This setup is a work in progress. Welcome to Eclectic Ideas. We're excited for this unboxing of our Mac Studio. We've always been Windows users, but we're crossing over to Mac. We'll drop all the links in the description for you to check out. This is the most interesting box I think we've ever seen. It's quite unique. So our reasons for migrating over to the Apple ecosystem are basically because we wanted the ease of file sharing. What a neatly packaged pamphlet with some very fine print and documentation of features within. We'll move the paperwork and watch this trick. Sounds like 1500 bucks, doesn't it? It's rumored that the 7.7 inch box has incredible processing power. And here is the thick woven braided cable that's included. We also have 512 gigabytes of unified memory and 32 gigabytes of RAM. It's been firmly handcuffed and could never escape without our help. And we finally freed it. There we go. It's quite thick and it feels very, very durable. It feels like it'll give you years of good service. And here's both ends of the plugs so you can see them up close. So let's go ahead and remove this thick protective paper to reveal this small, powerful, compact, and really quiet desktop. You can see the seamless aluminum housing with the shiny Apple logo branded right on top. And here's a glimpse of the front and back I.O. Look at the sleek, smooth front and that glossy Apple logo. We have two USB ports and one SD card slot on the front. And for our input output in the back, we have four Thunderbolt 4 ports, a 10 gig ethernet port, a power outlet port, two USB-A ports, one HDMI port, and one 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And we get this, wow. Let's grab that beautiful braided cable and plug in our power outlet. We got our old keyboard and we're just going to use up one of the USB-A's. Without an Apple keyboard or mouse, we'll just need to use a wired one. And we'll use the other USB-A to connect the wired mouse. Just like that. And just for this initial setup, we got a 24 inch 1080p Dell monitor and we'll plug in the HDMI cable right here. Let's turn the power on and turn this unit around to where it's facing the front. And we're just waiting for it to come on now. And there we go. Hello. Greetings to everyone watching. So from here on, the steps are pretty much straightforward. We're just going to click continue. First, it's going to ask us, you know, what the language you want is. And we picked English. And we're just going to go through the others. You can just read through and see which one's appropriate for you. And here is accessibility. Select a Wi-Fi network and then put in your Wi-Fi and your password. You can... Sign in with your Apple ID or set it up later. It'll send you a verification code if you have an Apple ID. We've got our iPhone and we're just going to click that and continue. Create a computer name. We just named it Eclectic Ideas. You can change any of these later if you don't like what you chose. We just keep clicking and finally we're done. It's just doing tasks now like identifying your keyboard and all that sort of thing. And there we go. Here it is. This is how it's set up temporarily with our mom's monitor, and we're going to unbox the Dell 4K 27-inch monitor as soon as it arrives. Stay tuned because we're super excited about adding the extra monitors and subscribers. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.